Hey everyone, in this video we're covering one way in which we can create web pages for a Flask application. We'll be doing this with Bootstrap, and I'll show you some of the cool components that we can use to help speed up the process in creating these web pages. Let's jump right in. Starting out, what we first want to do is to create a very simple Flask application in which we can serve these HTML pages. To do that, we will first, inside of a directory, create a new file, and we will call that file app.py. Once we have our app.py, what we'll want to do is I will take some code from the Flask Quick Start, and this is in their documentation. I'll have this link down below. So we will copy this and paste that into our app.py. This is a very simple Flask application, and we'll want to add a few bits to it so we can serve our HTML files. To serve HTML with Flask, we will say render template, as an import from Flask, and this is what serves our HTML. So now in our routes, here is our home page. We will keep this function and, and we will use that function of render template. And now we'll put in our template name. We don't have one yet, so I will just leave this as home.html as a placeholder. How Flask works by default is it looks first into a templates directory. So what we'll need to do is to create a new folder within our project. We will call it templates, and this will house all of our HTML inside of it. Inside of templates, we'll create that home.html, and now we can get started creating our HTML files for our Flask application. A quick way to do this is to use some type of CSS framework to quickly build components on your web page. There's tons of different frameworks, so feel free to explore here and find one that works for you. A quick one that most people begin with, so if you're just starting front-end development, you might want to start with something called Bootstrap. I will pull that page over. Bootstrap is just a type of the CSS framework, and what it allows us to do is to quickly use their components in our project. So that's what we'll get started doing in this example. I just want to show you a few demonstrations of how we can get these components and use them. So starting out, we'll minimize that. And what we'll need is to make sure that we have each of those imports into our HTML. So I will zoom out. This is on the Bootstrap page and I will link this down below too. So what we're doing here is we're connecting to Bootstrap's CDN to get all the static assets to render on our homepage. So we have some JavaScript down here and we have all the CSS that we need up here. These are important because it means that we can start using those components. If we were to go ahead and save all of our project, we will open up a terminal and we can execute this. So I will say Python flask run. We get the development server. I will pull this up and this is what it looks like. So that's just a template that we're starting off with. Now I want to show you how we can take components from Bootstrap and include them into our HTML template so we can start picking and choosing which ones we want to build our web pages. To add components to our web page, we can go over to those components on the Bootstrap site. And what we can do is pick one of these examples that they have. Let's choose a header. And now we can go and inspect the page and pull out any of these that we want. So if we want to pull out this dark one, let's copy this. So we will copy and pasting that back into the, our text editor. We'll save the file or run this again. And this is what it looks like on our brand new page. After getting a few of those components off of Bootstrap, my page now looks like this. So let's say our last step is that we want to host this at an endpoint so other people can view it. I just don't want a local endpoint but instead one where other people can go to it and you can visit the endpoint we're about to create in the description of this video so to do that very simply what we can do is open up wayscript and inside of wayscript we can create something called a layer we'll say flask html youtube video and i'll click on create and what this will do is put us inside of an environment where i can upload that code and deploy it very quickly without much hassle at all. After uploading my code, this is what my environment looks like. I have all the code that we were working on before, and I can deploy it 
with a few clicks, I will go to dot triggers, new trigger, select the deploy option. And here, our command to run will just be that flask run command. We'll set a port and a host. Once we have that, we'll make sure that our port matches up to the one that we're assigning here. And now we'll click on test. And just like that, we have deployed that Flask web page that we were creating locally to an endpoint that we can visit. And you can visit as well. This is in the description, like I said, so feel free to go and check it out. It's pretty straightforward to deploy applications on Wayscript. And there's a ton of other features that we can access to once we do it this way. We have a secrets manager where we can store secrets for our application, which we will probably need as we're building a Flask app. We have environment variables. We have a full file manager and a terminal at the bottom, complete with a process log, so we can go and see who accesses our site and the information that they're getting. So if there's any questions about anything in this video, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.